celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. 21 students of Fakunle Comprehensive High School, Oshobo, who fainted after inhaling tear gas fired by the police during a routine drill and fitness exercise of 39th Squadron of the Nigerian Police Mobile Force in Oshobo, Oshun State, have been discharged from hospital. Routine drill exercise, which involved the use of tear gas, caused pandemonium on Tuesday in Oshobo, as some students inhaled the tear gas due to the proximity of their school to the base which led to many of being hospitalized. The permanent secretary of the Ministry of Education who also confirmed the incident disclosed that all the students affected have been discharged from hospital. What happened yesterday was that the Mopul, the, the Mopul of um, station is directly opposite Fakunle Comprehensive High School. And as, as they normally do, they were having their morning drills. And the course of doing that, they, there were some explosion of um, tear gas. There were some tear gas explosions. And this happened to be blown to the school. The fumes of the gas were blown to the school. And some students were affected by these um, fumes. And immediately, the principals got to know about this. They quickly called the ambulance, or ambulance, to ferry the students to hospitals, to a nearby hospital first, and later some to um, the teaching hospital, in the teaching hospital, where they were well attended to. And um, we were also alerted. They were all discharged yesterday. The ones that were taken to in Oshun were discharged at about 3.45 p.m. yesterday. And those ones that were taken to the nearby, I think Spring Hospital, were also discharged about 6.45 p.m. yesterday. All of them are fine. Well, she might not be sure of the figures. It is 21. The report of the school principal too is here with me. And the report says 21. Even the names of the students are with me. Meanwhile, the Chairman Parents Teacher Association in Notion State, Ekunda Yadimola, is calling for the relocation of the base from the area for the safety of the students. Uh, apart from the children, the people around that place, at least they will live a, a healthy life. Not that they will be, you know, many people are asthmatic. Many people that have died because of this, that we may not know. Apart from the children, because it's the first children now, that is why people are now talking. People are living around that place. If they hate such a gas, that may be the end of his or her life. So I think it's that the government should look into that area on how to relocate them to where they will be and nobody will be, you know, they won't be affected by any other, pe any other person. In a response, the state police public relations officer said parents of the students will soon meet with the commissioner of police or some state command to find a way of preventing further occurrence. It is not a thing to be fearful of. It's a normal routine uh, um, exercise of the police. Whenever we have such drill going on, there used to be, you know, it's part of the things that we, we the, that the police use to train their policemen, you know, to to make them to be, you know, to 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 be up to the task, whenever they encounter whatever things that may be like that, and that is what they are doing. It's not anything that is uh, so bad. Okwe Emi Akin Emi, ABN TV News, Oshun State, Nigeria.